my first thing with George was he said, why don't we do a number of stories like Tales from the Crypt? And I went, yeah, let's let's do that. Because really, what is a comic book? It's a storyboard for a movie, right? Creepshow is presented like an EC comic book from the 1950s with five macabre stories and an all-star cast. Stephen King himself plays the doomed hayseed, Jordy Barrow. I'm a goner already, Daddy. He died. Each story was a moral tale in which sinners were rewarded with ironic deaths and sometimes ironic afterlives. The teenage Greg Nicotero was a frequent visitor to the Creepshow set. I remember seeing them shooting the actors with the colored lights and the background. I got my All of a sudden, like, there's a bunch of guys on dimmers and they'd go, Meow. And they would turn it and the lights would change. They were trying to immerse you into the comic book world. One of my favorite stories is The Crate, where a hand cat comes into possession of a vicious animal with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> and it's Hal Holbrook and Fritz Weaver and Adrian Barbeau and this old crate, and you're just waiting for Fluffy. I remember as a kid, I read Fangory Magazine, I saw pictures of the monster that they called Fluffy, and when that thing comes out of the crate... The fun is inventing how to do this stuff. You know, the script kind of is sometimes very vague. We see a flash of fur and teeth. Oh, I gotta create a creature from that that comes out of a crate underneath steps in Creepshow, you know? Something shiny. I had never built an animatronic creature before. So I called Rob Bottin on the phone. Took me to his house. He tore the skins off to show me how the mechanisms worked in the heads, the fake heads that he was making. As great as the crate is, nothing quite prepares you for E.G. Marshall's performance as Upton Pratt. This is Upton Pratt, the Upton Pratt. Oh, I found another cockroach this evening, George. Oh, no. One of those big ones, right here in my $3,200 a month penthouse apartment. Upson Pratt is a wealthy and vicious germaphobe who treats everyone like vermin. You might go far, White. I noticed that in service jobs, people like yourself often do. People of color. You know, the Marshall story does represent a lot of the socio-political things that were going on at the time, you know, with him being a blatant racist character who was trying to live in this sort of protected white bubble, literally, in his compound, and he's terrified of other things getting into that world. Damn now you'd have a digital cockroach. Back have. then, you really had to do yeah, the cockroaches. cockroaches. They were everywhere. Yeah, Eli, those cockroaches were everywhere. <laughs> and when we did the final scene, where the book, he just sort of explodes with bugs all inside him. Everybody was like, right, nervous, scared to death. It could be one take. Yeah. It's the only thing you could do. There were like 5,000 cockroaches, and they were going to blow them through this, this tube. Quiet on the set. Get the cockroaches. <laughs> Get the cockroaches. perfect that everybody in the place just exploded into applause it's one of the it's one of the great great moments in movies creep show was was way ahead of its time in terms of george and steve king's sort of love letter to ec comics <laughs> doing creep show really was was their opportunity to pay tribute to the stuff that inspired them <laughs> In Creepshow, bad people are punished with gruesome deaths. The violence